Welcome to another week. Chef Carl's here. It's been a while. Last time you saw me, I was in the middle of a diet challenge. Failed. What a surprise! In the three years I've been doing YouTube, I have managed to fail every possible diet that I've ever done. My willpower is shocking. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I even had a chef, personal chef on this one and uh, it did help, but I, I just didn't, I couldn't get through it. 18 pounds I did in three episodes, four episodes, even though you didn't get to see the weight of the final episode, because I just couldn't be bothered to edit it. So that's the end of that. And I basically I've put 10 pounds back on of the 18 so i'm still half a stone down but i'm still obese the purpose of this video is we've got a potential good week coming up currently wednesday tomorrow to make my diet an even worse i'm probably going to be going to the harvester <laughs> with my mum and neve but friday christina has got a potential new job lined up she has always wanted to work with animals whilst i was looking for a new job I saw a little job crop up for admin stroke receptionist at our local vets. She's applied for it, she's got on really well, they love her, she, they've basically offered her the job, they've agreed money, she's actually got a trial shift at the vets on Friday. So potentially by Monday she could have a new job. Sunday, and this is the madness, we, we're going to, uh, we've got a concert to go to, Madonna. <laughs> Madonna! <laughs> She's 98. Madonna, I can't even believe she's still walking. I mean, I'm, she's, I'm sure she comes on with a cane. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> You've got Madonna on Sunday and we had and we had a right madness with regards to... So Christina basically spent quite a lot of money on these tickets. They were really difficult to get. Madonna's performing at the Palladium. Christina put the wrong email address on the tickets. So we spent ages trying to get hold of the tickets, which we've now got. Then Madonna's cancelling tickets left, right and centre. But apparently right now it's still on. So Sunday we're going to the Palladium to watch Madonna. Boom. It should be a really good show. And then Monday I've potentially got a new job. Finally. I've had a, an interview with the recruitment consultant. I've had a, a phone interview with the man that runs the company. He really likes me. He's travelling down from Bank because the job is in London from Bank down to Croydon to meet me and then within, hopefully within that day, they're gonna job off for me and then I'll be out of the slug and lettuce. Finally, on a normal nine to five basis, I mean, it will be sad to leave, I will be missed. I thought I'll probably know by Tuesday, Christina will know by Tuesday, this week's video, potentially, this time in a week, next Wednesday, me and Christina could both have new jobs and our new life. And then we're going to move to South End. No, <laughs> you're joking, look at his face! <laughs> That's the purpose of doing a new video, basically. And this could be a, a life changing video. That's all for now. See you at the Harvester. That was short lived. Fully booked on a Thursday night! Right, we're now driving half an hour to another one. Really looking forward to the salad car! This is a joke. It's not my fault that they've got 200 people booked in on a Thursday night! Friday. Last time you saw me, I was uh, getting a bit stressed about the uh, harvester situation. <laughs> we did eventually manage to get to go to another one. And as you saw, I got my uh, beloved salad cart and I ate way too much. I had a triple chicken and uh, yeah, it was nice. Today, Friday, is the day of Christina's trial shift at the vet. Time at the moment is one o'clock. Christine's back from work at two o'clock and then her trial shift starts at three o'clock. I'm starting to work an hour later today so I can get to see Christina after the trial shift to find out how everything went. So I'll let you know later on. It's 20 to three and it's time. There she goes. She's really nervous, but I'm sure she's gonna be fine. It's 20 to five. I'm walking up to meet Christina to see how her trial shift went. I'm so excited. So. Disappointing news, basically. Christine's done her trial shift. It went really well. Turns out she's one of six. One of six that have been offered in for a trial shift. They made it sound like it was her job. Hence my positivity at the beginning of this video. I mean, we thought, look, it's yours. You're just gonna go in for a formality trial shift. And it turns out that there's three that have already been in, plus her, plus another three on Monday. Or a couple on Monday, couple on Tuesday. So we're not actually gonna find out now until Wednesday whether she's got the job or not. God's sake! 
sweet. But I'm still hopeful. Christina's still hopeful. She's a glamorous looking girl. She's very positive. She's lovely. And we're hoping that that's going to obviously give her the edge over the rest of the of the people. So tomorrow night we've got the final of the Masked Singer. And then, as you know, Madonna. Vogue. <laughs> on Sunday and then Monday's my interview Tuesday Wednesday we'll find out about it I'm still hoping it's gonna be a good video I mean I'm hoping it's gonna be a life-changing video Saturday night Storm Dennis has arrived me and Christina have got a takeaway a fish and chips takeaway and we're watching the final of the masked singer Sunday morning it's the day of Madonna <laughs> I'm just gonna get my hair cut sorry to pause this I'm just editing this video and what is my hair all about in this, in this scene? <laughs> I know I'm going to get my hair cut, but I just look like a rat mug. <laughs> oh my god, look at me. Anyway, back to the video. Because of this interview tomorrow, I've got my hair cut. Not like you can tell with a stupid brain. We're on route to Madame. Madonna. 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 Sad since the Caroline Flack incident. I've just had a fault. How am I going to sneak this camera in? You can't. I'll take it off you. I won't take it off. They will mate. take it off. I'll you. put it in my trousers. I'll put it in my bra. Yeah. So basically, they take all the phones off of everyone and put them in these little. Yeah, you won't be able to have. Or they'll have a register where they look it up. No, put it in your bra. We're listening to Madonna music. Amazing, put that in there. Any, oh, do you guys have any Apple Watches or Fitbit? No. Lovely. No, thank you for being here. 6.55 in the morning, I'm off for my job interview. So, I'm back from my interview. To be honest, it couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've got the job. We agreed a start date, we agreed money. He was using words like, you're gonna, you're gonna really fit in here when you start X, Y, and Z. He said to wait for an email from the recruitment consultant because it's the recruitment consultant that does the offer letters. So by the sounds of it, I've got the job. <laughs> Just obviously got to wait for it to uh, to be confirmed and actually get an offer letter. I can get an offer letter today. I'll be handing my notice in at the Slug and Lettuce today, which means my last working day will basically be technically the 29th of this month and then I'll start my new job on the 1st of March. So yeah, that's it really. That's uh, that's the situation with regards to the interview. Um, yeah, I look tired as well because obviously last night was Madonna. I did manage to sneak the camera in <laughs> and I got a couple of clips and here they are. <laughs> justice of just how amazing she was it was uh, it was just it was so good it was probably one of the best concerts I've ever been to and to be honest I really really didn't have any kind of expectations at all really I mean it is Madonna but she is old so <laughs> anyway I'll update you when I've got an update oh hi <laughs> sorry just uh, in the middle of writing out my notice <laughs> I've got the job I don't know what that was. What was that? I just got off the phone to the recruitment guy and my new boss and I've been offered the job. <laughs> so I feel like crying. I can't believe it. Yes! Oh! Start my new job on the 2nd of March. I've got a two week notice period to give to the slug and lettuce. I do feel bad because it's not a great time to, get, to hand the notice in, but when is a good time? I am going to miss it, but this is a hell of a lot more money. Better social hours, sociable hours. Just changes so much. We just now need Christina to get her job tomorrow or Wednesday. 
and this is the best week ever. Baby David, I've got a new job from Baby Dev. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. It's Tuesday, back at work. Yesterday afternoon I handed my notice in. So it's done. Oh, just, uh, nothing I can do about it. Been offered an amazing opportunity which I have to take. So all we're waiting for now is Christina's news, good or bad. Fingers crossed. I was hoping it'd be today. We haven't heard anything as of yet. It's two or three o'clock at the moment. So more than likely gonna be tomorrow now. But as soon as we get the news, we'll end this week's video and we'll take it from there. I'm home from work. Got a nice little treat lined up for dinner, haven't we? Pie in a can. I don't even think it's gonna open because we need an industrial can opener to get the lid off. Oh, it's opening. Oh my God, what is that? That's disgusting! It's Christina, why have we bought this? Because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> it looks like flan. I'll see you in a minute with a uh, pie in a can. It's time for the pie. I can't believe the way that's turned out. Oh my, God. look at the puffness. And tomorrow we get your call about getting your new job. Perfect. It's Thursday. Today is a terrible day to be Dave. 9 a.m. this morning. We dropped him off at the veterinarians because he's having his balls off. Christina was worried that he weren't going to make it through the anaesthetic. You said the same thing with Frank. <laughs> anyway, we're walking to the vets. The right vets. It's going to have a cone on and everything. Poor baby David. Poor baby David. Cute baby David. He's had a terrible time and he's got a cute little bandage. <laughs> his little bandage. He's so sad. Oh, uh, he's not moving at all. He doesn't want to move. It's Friday. Today is the day that apparently we find out about Christina's vet job. We were hoping it would be Monday, Tuesday. Christina thought it would be Wednesday. We heard nothing yesterday. We were even up there yesterday for Dave's operation and they said, yeah, you should find out tomorrow. So it's currently two o'clock and we still haven't found out. So it's frustrating. Christina is absolutely convinced that she doesn't have the job. Her contract has been terminated at her current job as well. It was due to run out soon anyway, but she's um, been to the doctors with suspected kidney stones. So she's been signed off, so they said that well, they might as well call it a day. So that's the situation. It's Monday and uh, the video has dragged on a bit. Was hoping to have the video all wrapped up by last Wednesday. As you know, we were waiting to hear back about Christina's job. Long story short, Christina's just had an email with regards to her job. Oh, it's just... Long and short of it, is she got the job! <laughs> Christina got the job! <laughs> oh, she got the job! Wow, we're so happy! Christina got the vet job. I can't believe it. I can not believe it. This literally is the best, most unbelievable, life-changing week we have had for ages. She immediately started crying, obviously. It's just life-changing. We're so happy. She's probably gonna start next Monday, which is when I start my new job. So this week, we set out for both of us to, uh, to accomplish getting new jobs. And in this week's video, although it's a week and a half, we both did what we set out to accomplish unbelievable if you put your mind to things and you're positive you can achieve anything that is the moral of the story it's unbelievable so sorry the video has gone on a bit longer than expected but it was worth the wait me and christina have both got new jobs <laughs> anyway i'll see you when i see you thanks for watching goodbye <laughs>